A parent meeting is planned for tonight at a Fullerton Middle School. Authorities will answer questions after a teacher was arrested on child sex charges. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Michelle Gile reports parents have a lot of concerns. But even though he, she's the matured one, she shouldn't do those things. It's a feeling shared by many parents at Nicholas Junior High School in Fullerton in the wake of an eighth grade math teacher's arrest for allegedly molesting two of her male students. I believe that it was more than an a single incident. I do think it was over some period of time. Superintendent Bob Pletka is expecting to address a few hundred concerned mothers and fathers tonight on campus about 28 year old Melissa Lindgren, who he says won't teach in his district again. Ultimately, we will pursue termination. Um, and it is an administrative law judge that that ultimately makes that decision, but she will not be teaching with our kids in our district. Officials say Lindgren, who lives here in La Mirada, was arrested at school hours after Fullerton detectives got information on Friday that she'd sent sexual text messages to two boys who stepped forward and admitted that their teacher engaged in inappropriate behavior with them. Melissa Lindgren had taught here since 2008. She was really nice and she was like so calm and then she was kind of like a teenager and she understood everyone, but then like I was kind of surprised and shocked about this. All the teachers are not like that. It's really, and unfortunately, the, this teacher was that so bad. Here is a wonderful school. Counselors were on campus all day today helping students work through this. Meantime, the superintendent says he paid a visit to the alleged victims' families who were understandably very upset. Melissa Lindgren worked here on campus for six years. There is concern that there may be additional victims who may be too afraid to step forward or those who have already graduated. The authorities want them to step forward. In Fullerton, Michelle Geely, KCAL 9 News.